This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Farm Factor. Let's join Kyle and Ken as they update us on the students, faculty, and facilities at ASI. I have the opportunity to visit with Ken Odie. Ken is the head of the uh, Animal Science and Industry Department at Kansas State University. Ken, I have had the opportunity to be an insider on a lot of information over the last few years about the Animal Science Department and just how successful it has been. Well, Kyle, thank you for the opportunity to visit about this a little bit. Obviously, I'm very proud of the department. Uh, I, I probably need to tell you that uh, this department has a long history of uh, excellence in serving students in the livestock industry. And, and, and I think what we really try to do is carry on that legacy of this department. But to give you a few examples, uh, we're having tremendous uh, enrollment growth here in the department. Have for about the last uh, uh, seven years. We're up about 500 students in seven years. We're also up significantly in non-resident students. So uh, what's happened is we continually attract more students from across the country to our program. I think a big reason for that is we're very fortunate to have not just outstanding faculty, but to have good facilities that are close to campus. We can provide a lot of hands-on experience. We're in, the, in our new sheep and meat goat center right here, and that facility was uh, dedicated three years ago. Uh, and provides a lot of good uh, teaching opportunity for us as well. Having facilities close to campus has become almost unique across the nation. Uh, absolutely. What happens is most of our land-grant institutions uh, are in cities that are experiencing growth. And as they experience growth, those facilities that were close to campus tend to get either closed or pushed away. And uh, in many cases, if they get rebuilt, they're 20, 30 miles away. And they're very difficult to make good use of. Uh, particularly for teaching. So we're really fortunate to be right here on the north edge of campus and uh, we can fit our uh, laboratory experiences in our uh, livestock facilities right into regular class schedules and that makes a big difference. With having that many new students in the animal science department, can you find jobs for all of them? The reality is the job market's very good and uh, there's jobs uh, for everyone that graduates uh, in this department. I will tell you that there's a bit of a challenge, though, in that uh, the jobs aren't always where the students might necessarily most like to go. As I tell them that not all the jobs are in Manhattan, Kansas, and so they do have to be willing to go where the jobs are actually located. But the job market uh, in animal agriculture has really been quite good. Truly, the value of the education at Kansas State must be good because out-of-state students pay a significantly higher tuition. Uh, they absolutely do, and while, while a third of our students are non-resident students, the non-resident students' uh, total tuition is actually more than the resident students. So if you look at uh, what's coming into the institution, it's, it's, a huge, it's a huge part. So can you maintain this kind of growth, or do your facilities get maxed out at some point? Um, we are, uh, I would describe, uh, first of all, we're very pleased with the growth we've had, but uh, we're, we're pretty close to what we can effectively handle uh, at this point in time. Uh, you know, it's possible that with additional resources we could, we could have additional growth, but uh, there's limitations. We're visiting with Dr. Ken Odie. He is the head of the Animal Science and Industry Department at Kansas State University. Thanks, Kyle. It's time for a quick break, but don't go away. Next up is this week's Kansas Soybean Report. 